YouTubers, good afternoon. Matt M. Roy back with you once again. Uh, I was going to do the vlog earlier today, but I ran into a few uh, hiccups. Just had a lot of things to do today, nothing too serious. I just left uh, the local Chrysler dealership because I wanted to get that second uh, key fob program because as most of you guys know that watch my channel, when I bought this car I only received one key fob and um, if that one ever got lost, broken, stolen, or any of the above, I'd be up you-know-what creek without a paddle. <laughs> so about $75 later, plus the cost of the fob, which I got online. So probably a total of about $85, $90. I now have a second key fob, and I feel a lot more comfortable. That way, if one gets lost, I have a backup. So I am heading home right now. Uh, I want to thank everybody that attended my little uh, live Q&A last night. I think it was fairly successful. I'm glad that you guys really enjoyed it. Hope everybody got some good information out of that. I do plan on doing another one. That's the biggest question I've had since I ended that. When are you going to do another one? I think we're going to try to do another one in about two weeks. I will let you know the exact date as the time approaches. Um, just going to try to do these as much as possible. Uh, just to let you know, though, the next one is probably going to be uh, a different topic. This last time I did anything tech-related questions. The next one I want to do uh, cooking-related questions because I know a lot of you guys out there that subscribe to my channel uh, like my cooking videos. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, answer any questions that have to do with cooking. Um, not baking though. As you guys know, I am not really a, a big fan of baking, so we're just going to limit limited to cooking stuff. Uh, if you want to ask me something specific about a dish you saw me prepare on one of my videos, that's okay. If you want to ask me something about uh, a dish that you like to prepare, I'll do the best I can to answer those. I'm just going to have some fun with this, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Whatever one seems to be more popular, those will probably do more of those. Um, I just have a hunch it's, whoa, this guy just uh, turned left and almost cut me off here. I have a hunch the tech-related video is going to be the more popular of the two, though, because you guys seem to have a lot of technical questions for me. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a few minutes. I'm about home. I need to go ahead and unload the trunk. I went to Aldi, and I picked up some uh, cherries. For those of you guys that are uh, really into Aldi and have one near you, this week Aldi has cherries for $1.29 a pound. That's down 30 cents from last week when they were $1.59. Uh, strawberries are back up. Strawberries are $1.79 for a pint, which is okay. It's very typical price-wise. Um, and they have the seedless watermelons again this week for uh, $5 or $4.99. So if you guys have your uh, local Aldi's, make sure you stop in. I would definitely recommend picking up some of their cherries. They are not the sweetest cherries I've ever had, but for the price, you really can't go wrong. And I kind of made a resolution to myself that I am going to stop eating a lot of the sweets that I am addicted to. I am definitely a uh, junk foodaholic. Uh, you know, I think we all have our vices, and as you guys probably know by now, food is one of them. And I'm vowing to start eating a lot healthier, and that means a lot of more fruits, a lot more vegetables, and a lot less red meat. I'm really uh, vowing to go ahead and start eating a lot more chicken and a lot more fish if I can stomach it, though I'm not a big uh, fan of fish. Uh, I will eat um, flounder, I will eat cod, and I do also eat um, snapper on occasions. One of my favorite fish that I haven't had for many, many years is uh, swordfish, and mainly the reason is I'm not very good at cooking it. Number one and number two, in our area, it's very expensive. Swordfish can be upwards of $10 to $15 a pound. So I think the next time I find that on sale, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up a bunch of that and hopefully freeze it. All right, tubers, I am literally a minute or so from home, so I will talk to you in a little bit. All right, tubers, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what these cherries look like because I know somebody is going to ask me. Um, the ones from Aldi's that are $1.29, they come in this one pound little box here. They're Rainier Fruit Sweet Cherries. See, it's one pound, 0.45 kilograms. And it looks like they're from uh, Salia, Washington. So, yeah, all those cherries for uh, $1.29 is not a bad deal. And I assume you could probably get these in most areas, but highly recommend picking a package of these. All right, up. Tuber, so I'm here. I'm just uh, waiting to get some dinner. I'm at uh, Great Wall, a local uh, Chinese food restaurant. I uh, just left a friend's house helping her with a uh, set up a new computer mainly getting the emails back, which luckily everything came back. I love it when everything works the way it's supposed to. 
but uh, I'm kind of regretting cutting my hair this short. If you see it, I'm gonna have to start wearing a hat while I'm out. And yes, Aunt Barbara, I know I sh and Uncle Pierre, I know I should be doing that now, but I haven't been outside too much today. Weather's pretty nice. It's uh, about 86 degrees, but humidity is really low, so uh, we don't even have to worry about um, sweating. Like I haven't even broken a sweat at all today. Uh, I'm wondering how you guys like my new glasses. I don't know if everybody were, uh, noticed that, that uh, my other pair of glasses broke, so I had to start wearing these. I actually like these a lot better. The um, lenses are much bigger, so it's easier to see. I have a better field of view with these glasses. Well, it looks like my Chinese food's about done. I'm going to head home, eat that, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. And I will talk to you guys when I get back home. I am back home. It's actually getting kind of late. It's pushing on uh, 8 o'clock right now. Um, just been working upstairs. I uh, purchased a new micro SD card for the um, new dash cam that I got. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. It's a little cheap Chinese one I picked up online. Actually sits that way. You can see it's got the function buttons on front. It's got a pretty nice size screen on it. I would say about a two and a half, maybe three inch. And to turn it on. There you go. A little bit of that uh, typical uh, Japanese uh, type music from back in the day. <laughs> no card in it right now, but you can see it's got the uh, nice big uh, lens on it. One LED, so it's probably not the greatest for nighttime use, but you know what? I'm not that worried about it because I usually don't drive much at night. I figured for the 10 bucks I paid for it, it should get the job done. Unfortunately, my other dash cam went missing when I uh, traded in the Lincoln Town Car. I have no idea what happened to it. Um, I transferred all my stuff over uh, to the new uh, caravan or my town and country, so I thought, but... I really couldn't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the computer that I just finished building the other day. I'm going to bring you over here and let's right, take tubers. a look. So this is a case that I picked up at the best thrift store down in Norfolk. Um, picked this up about a month or two ago. I think I wound up paying about $15 for it. And I'll be honest with you guys, I think I overpaid for it at that price. As you can see, even though it's a new case, it gets very easily scratched. You can see a little scratch there. And I know there's a couple down here. You can see there's some little scrape marks right there. That's not dirt, guys. That's actually scratches. So the paint comes off this real easy. And if I pull this open, it's very stiff. And as you can see, as I'm trying to pull it open, the actual front cover starts to pull off as well because the uh, screw mounts on here are really, really cheap plastic, and they started to break. So to be honest with you guys, I would never buy another one of these cases again. So you can see I put in a DVD burner here at the bottom, and I also put in a 42-in-1 memory card reader. This one happens to be a Rosewell. I actually like these because these have all the typical ones in there. You got your um, memory stick, you got your different types of SD cards, compact flash, um, this is a secure extreme digital they call it but you also have your slot for your micro SD card so this will actually read the micro SD cards that are in most of the cell phones and tablets nowadays plus it also gives you an extra USB 2.0 port so I must say I'm fairly impressed with those power button right there had to fix that the mount was broken out of the box so I wound up taping it that works fine now uh, reset button down here and then right down here you have your two USB 2.0 ports and your front audio ports though I could not hook those up because the motherboard I have in here uh, uses HD audio and these are just the old uh, Realtek AC97 format so unfortunately I was not able to utilize those and it looks like they at least had a uh, cutout for a Firewire port, though, I guess they decided not to use it in this particular Coming case. Coming to the back design. here, you have your standard uh, PS2 ports, keyboard, mouse, uh, VGA port here. Got four USB 2.0 ports, a uh, gigabit Ethernet, and then your various array of uh, audio ports. I do have a um, NVIDIA GeForce GT 210 card in here. So basically that gives me um, VGA, HDMI, 
and DVI, though I'm using a DVI to VGA converter so I can hook up two uh, VGA monitors to it All right, at this point. I took the uh, side cover off this computer, and uh, right away you'll probably see something that's kind of odd about this. The motherboard that's in here is actually, and I hope I get this right, I think they actually call this a baby ATX. This is the smallest of the ATX form factors. So you can see, look at all the extra space there is down there by the expansion cards. But it's the only motherboard I had when I was doing the build, so I decided to go ahead and utilize it. Uh, this uses a socket uh, 775 right now in here is a Core 2 Duo E8400 chip running at 3 gigahertz. I have um, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, uh, 4 gigabytes per stick. Um, as you can see, the one drawback to these boards, other than being small, is they actually only have two SATA ports, which are right down here, and I'm using that to power the two uh, 250 gigabyte um, hard drives. One is a Western Digital Caviar Blue. The other one is, I believe, an IBM Desk Star, but don't quote me on that. It's hard to see down here. <laughs> so what did I do for the optical drive? Well. I relied on good old IDE. Luckily, this BioStar uh, G41D uh, 3C motherboard did have a actual uh, um, parallel port in it, so I went and hooked that up, and I did have a parallel um, DVD burner, so that actually worked out very, very nicely. I did a few extra modifications to this. I put in this 120 mil um, cooling fan because this is a Core 2 Duo 8400, a higher end Core 2, and these do tend to run a little bit on the hot side. And yes, I'm just looking at the dust here because this motherboard was from another computer. I'm going to have to go ahead and use some canned air and clean that out, but that'll be in good time. It's, it's good enough for now. <laughs> right there is that GeForce GT 210 card. And um, I'm going to go ahead, that's about all I need to show you inside, though. I will show you this. I did wind up hooking up the uh, PC speaker that came with the, uh, with the computer. Unfortunately, they didn't really give you any way to mount it, so I assume they just wanted you to have it sticking up like that. It's not in the way or anything, so I think that's safe as it is. Um, the way I have this fan hooked up, I actually have an extra... Uh, four pin Molex connector here that plugs into the fan right here and then I actually have another fan that is built into the side of this case this actually came with the case this is just an 80 millimeter fan um, I'm not sure I think these are probably sealed bearings it's not the highest quality fan but they are on the quiet side so I think they should last a good long while I'm gonna go ahead and put the case back together and I'm gonna boot this up and show you another really cool uh, feature all right about so I'm reach this. up front and push this power button smoke test and as you can see something really cool each of these fans actually has a different color LED built in the side fan here has a blue LED and then in the rear, the 120-millimeter uh, fan actually has a blue and a red LED. And as you can see, it gives this really cool uh, strobing effect as it spins. It's an optical illusion, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. And then, of course, you look down here, you can still see some uh, of the blue LED emanating from these vent holes and then the little holes in the blanking plates for the expansion cards. I just thought that was really, really cool. And I'll bring you to the front and show you that is not all. As you can see up here, this front in case, instead of having an actual um, power light for the power, actually has this bank of LEDs. So even though I think this case is on the cheap side, all, all in all, it is still pretty cool. And then you have your typical... Um, just hard drive activity indicator light. And just for those of you that are interested, I will show you exactly what the specs are on here. Because, again, I know somebody's going to say, oh, well, you told me what it was, but I don't believe that. Well, you can see for yourself. It is Core 2 Duo E8400 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This is the first system that I've pretty much built from scratch in a while. So I was really happy that it came out as good as it did. And I think this is going to make somebody a really nice uh, low to mid-range uh, PC. Maybe even for some gaming. All right, tubers. I am going to uh, cut the vlog here for tonight. It's a uh, quarter to ten and I'm getting pretty tired. Wow, I really did overdo it with the haircut this time. See Baxter's in the corner over there, right over there, kneading away on the bed. So I will talk to you guys in a couple of days. And as always, 
Have a blessed day, everybody. <laughs>